Color management in Affinity Designer is pretty intuitive compared to other apps I've used. Um, Sketch or Photoshop, for instance, give you this color picker option. You can select an object and it should update automatically based on what you're picking. Uh, inside Affinity, there are two ways to go about color picking. There's the, I would say, the globalized swatch color picking um, where you click this icon here up to the right, you drag, you can click the color, and then it applies to the swatch alias here, and then until you click that, it should update. So for instance, click that, that color will update there. On top of that, a newer, newest version of Affinity actually added the color picker tool to the mix. And inside of design, by default, it will apply whatever you select from these color pick selection uh, to your to your actual selection so if I were to pick this cool image of this line here you'll notice the the whole selection should apply to it I think it might do it this way oh it needs to be selected so select the image first get the color picker and then do this and you'll see the photo update in real time like that and i think that's pretty cool usually by default uh, the picker tool selects a single pixel selection but you can get an average of these uh, measurements here like 65 pixels or 257 if you want to go that wide uh, so your selection in the end will vary based on your image an actual color management option inside affinity uh, by default has these you know, Pantone color library, something similar you've seen in Adobe. If you've worked with say Illustrator or something like that, um, there are some presets in here for you to use that are gradients, grays, colors, all that. Um, you can actually add your own and let me move this over so you guys can see. If you go to the swatches panel and hit this menu icon down, Assuming your document's open, you can add an actual palette. So it's a document-wide palette, or you can add a system palette, so it's global between all your files, or an application palette, just for Affinity Designer. Uh, no other app does that, and to me, that's, that's huge. And right now, it's kind of hidden, and I didn't really honestly know about it until not too long ago. So um, if you want to say share your color palettes with anyone else, it just gets that much easier getting your own document palette For instance, if you don't just want to use the default colors one here, you can add that and It will say okay. Here's your your default one But you need to rename it and you can do that by doing this I'll Just do my palette This will be document And essentially anything you create from this point forward, you can add as a, a color to your actual document. Doing that, this icon here, if you aren't familiar, it adds the fill of the current selection to your palette. So there we go. So that's our document palette. You can s It's indicated by this file looking icon as opposed to the actual Affinity logo. These are the system ones. So. For instance, you want to add a system one, you can do that. We can add another application one, or actually, I'm, I'm sorry, I said they were system, but they're actually application. The, the system ones will have the Apple logo. So yeah, you can rename it just like we did this. So this will be application one. Palette. I don't know, say there's a color or a set of colors, a series of colors you use in your documents. This is the place to put those. You'll always have access to it inside your program, um, assuming you have the same install of Affinity Designer in your system. So going back to the document palette, that's a sweet feature in itself. But what took me by surprise is the next one I'm about to show you. You can actually have Affinity created a palette well, let me fix this. Affinity can create a palette from your document and save it as each of those presets, or you can even pull it from an image. So if I were to do that, I have this 
uh, entire document selected, obviously. So it's it's based on what you have open. Unfortunately, you can't customize exactly what, say, artboard it's pulling from. But at this point, we can create a document palette. It scans, in, in this case, all of this and creates a series of colors based on what you have there, all the different kind of um, shades, tints, all of that stuff. So uh, here I have a gradient. You notice those colors kind of end up here on the button. Um, the same goes for the blue background, these colors, even the colors in the photo are added, which is pretty darn useful if you ask me. So if you want to save time, you can go that route. It creates this preset for you. It'll actually name it based on your file. So my file is named color management and it will create that document wide uh, palette for you. If you were to do it from an image, we could do the same. So we'll do, I think you can just select an image or it'll actually actually ask you to select. So let me grab one here. I think this is it. Yeah, it's the same one. And you can tell which how many colors you want in this preview. This palette is so cool to me. So you can you can adjust it to your need, preview it. It'll do its thing, show you all those colors and generate your palette. So I think it's an extremely useful tool if you're new to Affinity and you're you've been looking for color palette management. Um, for instance, in Sketch, uh, you can do that to a, a degree, but probably not this much control. Here, look, they created it based on the file name. There's all your colors. You're all set. I mean, you're ready to go. So, but going back, I was, I was talking about uh, Sketch. Yeah, you can create document level colors. You can create global colors, but then you know, a actually exporting them, sharing them, creating system ones changing their name, you know, organizing them, you can't do, or from an image, granted. So really useful feature. If you are on the on the uh, fence with Affinity stuff, I really invite you to check it out. There's some underlining functionality going on in this program that's taking me by surprise. So I'm becoming a longtime advocate, I think, um, as I continue to use the program. Definitely check it out. If you like this video, subscribe for more. I'll be posting more as they come.